For this chapter, we will do computer networks. Please open it from your laptop so that you can write notes. Okay. What is a computer network? Who can tell us? Computers and devices or in systems connected together using what? Transmit media. Okay. Using a media, cable or wireless. Okay. And uh, what about protocol? What is a protocol? It's the rules for the control. The rules, yani, you know, protocol, diplomatic protocol, how they talk to each other, how they talk, communicate with each other, the rules, the standards of communication between each other, the server, how does it talk to the client? Okay. Network can be small, yani, like two computers together, you can make a small network and can be huge. And what is the biggest network? Internet, the mother of all networks, okay? It's made up of billions of computers. What can we put, the end devices, what they can be in the network? Computers, what else other than computers? printer, <coughs> scanner, Oh, camera, CCTV camera, very good. Type. The most common protocol for the internet or for the network is TCP IP. It's a suite of protocols, yani multiple protocols. And in each card or each device that is connected, they should have something called NIC, NEC card, network interface card. Okay where you connect the wire. Like these desktops, they will have card. Your laptop, it has card, but it is wireless. Your laptop, network card. Network card, NIC network card. Okay. So these are the network components here. Cannot go larger, larger than this. So you can see here we have the network infrastructure has three categories, okay, of hardware. End devices, where is the end devices? This ones. Intermediary devices like what? Router, Router access points, okay, firewall, and then the the media, media lower, the cable or transmission, wireless, wireless. Okay, any questions? TCP IP protocol. We will learn about it. TCP IP is the protocol used for the internet protocol. Okay. Top end devices. They are the interface between users and the network. So how you communicate with the server through the end device, okay? We call it end devices or hosts, okay? And they send and receive traffic. So some examples are, please look at these examples. We have already mentioned cameras, mobile devices, PDAs, Okay, wireless debit cards, card readers, barcode scanners. Okay, this is the NIC card, network interface card, where you plug in the cable. Okay, don't forget this. Okay, it enables a computer or device to have networking capability to access the network. So it coordinates the transmission and receipt of data, instructions and information to and from the computer or device containing the network. Tamam? But the intermediate devices, we have already mentioned data, uh, routers, switches, wireless router, okay? They provide connectivity and work behind the scenes to ensure that data flows across the network. 
So they connect individual hosts to the network and can connect multiple individual networks to form an inter network. So it can connect user to the network or another room, another network to the network. Okay. So these are the most common intermediary devices, switches, router, modem, WAB. What is WAB? Wireless access point. Like this one. And NIC and others. Okay. Any questions? The intermediate network or devices or network devices, for example, a switch. A switch connect computer in a network and forward data frames over the network to the corresponding device. Okay. The switch has many ports to which computers in the network are plugged in, like those, these are switches. You see the brown one in the middle here that has like uh, 24, I think, 24 uh, ports. So if you know, that's a switch. Okay. Add one, two, three, four, five. The bunny, this one. Okay. Hey, these, these are switches. These are switches. Yes. Thank you. Okay. We will organize for the, our technicians to show you the device. So please don't touch this. When the technician is here, he will show you. We will arrange a class. He will come and show you and explain to you the safety rules for the lab. Okay. So uh, the router, a device that manages the traffic between two or more networks and help find the best path for traffic to get from one network to another. If you want to connect to the internet, you need router. If you want to connect computers inside the LAN, you need switch. Okay. If you have Wi-Fi devices, then you need wire, uh, a what? Wireless access point, okay? Network media can be wireless, LAN, okay? Or WAN media, Ahmar other WAN media. There's no these symbols. WAN like you get from it to Salat for enterprise companies, they communicate their network with other networks through WAN. Like you are a bank, you have a branch. You want to have a private, you have to want to have a one between your branch and main office. Then you go for a one connection. Okay. So network models, the way the computers are, you are described. We have the topology. Topology describes how the parts of a whole work, a whole network work together. And when you want to describe a network, you want a diagram. There are two models. One is physical topology. Physical topology, these are all important by the way. Okay, it refers to the network hardware and computers are connected. Okay, and the cable or radio signals work together to form the physical network. So if you look here, okay, which one is the physical topology? It will show you where each computer is located, how they are connected, which one, the yellow one. This one? Ah, okay, to be like, so. This one, the yellow one. So, so as you see here, you will have the name of the device, how it is connected, cables, floor by floor, you see here you have classroom, classroom two, okay, switches. Here we just put the IP addresses, the logical, and yani more overview. So this is called logical, logical topology, the we put, uh, we subnets, the IP addresses. That one just for server. No, subnets, okay. and the subnets. Completely. You change the ID for the server. Yeah. You can, but I'm talking about the topology itself described for you. What are the IP addresses? And also, software controls access to network, including how users and software initially gain access to the network. 
such as application, databases, are shared. Yani one diagram, it will show you where each computer is, how they are connected, which floor, which room. The other one is care about the logical, how the software is communicating. What are the IP addresses? And the second one, they are not telling you where they are located. So look at the diagram. It's not showing you where they are located. IP and logic, logical information. Peer-to-peer -peer net. We have also two type of network models. We have peer, peer we have peer-to-peer -peer or P2P. Okay. Here, the operating system of each computer is responsible for controlling access to its resources without centralized control. Yeah, and if you remember in the old days, if you want to share a file on your computer, okay, you don't need to buy software uh, server. Your software can allow you to share. So we call this network peer-to-peer. -peer. So you don't have a dedicated server. It is cheaper, but it is cannot scale for big networks. And if you have a small room, five people working together, they want to share a printer, you can connect it to one computer and he can share it with the other users. But if the company grow and you have 20, 30 users, this is not efficient. Okay. These are examples of OS that can be installed on a computer in peer-to-peer -peer network. Windows, Linux, Mac OS, okay, also iOS and Android or mo on mobile devices. So please, you have to know these things. So this is how we draw a peer-to-peer -peer network. You see here we have printer. It is shared by everyone, but nobody is really controlling it alone. Yani. We cannot have full control, centralized control. Okay, and if you have 100 users, you cannot use this method. It will not work. It's not efficient. So these are the advantages, what I have just mentioned to you. Can you please read the advantages? Please read them carefully, the advantages and disadvantages. Of course, one of the advantages also is less expensive. You don't have to buy dedicated server, dedicated software. Who can tell me about the disadvantages? Anybody? Yes. They are not necessarily to be secure. Not necessarily secure, yeah. Also, it's not scalable. If the network grows, it cannot handle the network. Okay. And it's not practical if you have big network. All right. Any question? This is important slide, by the way. Uh, this is repeated in this slide. I think by mistake it's repeated, right? By the way, give me, uh, we said that Windows like Windows 10 is an operating system for peer-to-peer. -peer. For network, client server, we need Windows Server. But which one is more expensive? Windows Server or Windows 10? Windows Server. This is the client server network model. So here I have a client. I have a server. OK. The client will send the request to the server, and the server will respond. OK? Yeah. Give me example of servers. Give me example. Like, uh, Look at the function of each one, please. Which like? one is used to store files and share? File server. What about email server? What does it do? It sends the client and receive from clients. Clients. Email server. Email server. 
What about web server? It runs web server software. So clients can browse, uh, can use browser software such as, give me example, Edge, Google Chrome to, to access. Okay. Now, what about the advantages? Many advantages. So you can have authentication, login, username and password. So it's more secure. You can access multiple shared devices or resources, printer, data files, and you can have central control. The administrator can control everything. Sitting from his office, he can control. And they are more scalable, okay? What are the disadvantages? You need to train, you need to have a dedicated person, train him. So it's more expensive. And also the server is expensive. It has, the server should have more RAM, more hard disk space, more speed. Also, if the server is down, the network is down. You cannot, if your email server is down, then you cannot access the email server. So it's called central point of failure. But we can overcome this by having a redundancy, a back, like redundant email server or redundant file server. Training, yeah. So, networking types. We have different type of network according to the size is geometric is geography we have local area network metropolitan area network okay and wide area network the main differentiation is the area of coverage which one is the smallest the local. local area network okay so like give me example like home school lab like this one here okay office building so these are closely positions a group of buildings also so they are in small area network each computer or device on the network is called a node and often often shares resources such as printer hard disk okay another example of lan is called wireless lan it uses no physical wire okay but the, the wireless LAN communicates with a wired LAN for access to the resources. So here we have these ones connected to the access point, right? That one is connected by cable. You see the cable there? It is connected by cable, but from here to there it's wireless. Okay. A switch. What does the switch do? Receives incoming data from one of its ports and redirect it to another port or multiple ports. Okay. By the way, the physical topology of the network can be a star. A star is here, this one. You see this one on the left? So you have one access point in the middle. And all the computers are connected to it. It looks like a star. So it's called star topology. Star. What about this? This is extended star because I have three stars connected to each other. Extended star. Okay. Each device should have a NIC card. And a LAN can have several switches. A backbone is a central conduit that connects the segment pieces of a network. Like this one, you see here this yellow line? Yes. Had a backbone. A backbone can high bandwidth to connect the segments, the other networks together. Okay. So this is extended star.
So this one is a star. This one is a star. And this one they call it hybrid. Okay, because you have multiple stars inside it. Hybrid. Some people call it extended. But here they called it hybrid. Type router, very important device. It manages the traffic between two or more networks or between your network and the outside world, like a firewall. It protects your network from the outside. Okay. They can be used in a small home network to connect the homeland to the internet. We call it SOHO. What is SOHO? SOHO is small office home office. Don't forget this name, please. So small office home office. Small office, home office. Okay. Or maybe it can be industrial group routers. These are more expensive. Okay. And it will have different multiple network ports. But what is the difference between router and switch? Which one is more expensive, by the way, usually? The router. router. A router is like a gateway between network and belongs, networks and belongs to two or more local networks. A, a switch is only belongs to one LAN, to one network. Okay. You hear, see, you see here we have a home router. Okay. Here we have a combo device. Or like a router. But what is the metropolitan area network? I'll show you know what is metropolitan the area. يعني أفتح المدينة مثلاً تلاقي بنايات جنب بعض هيك منطقة كلها سكن هيك سموها متروبوليتان يعني ب ضاحية أو منطقة سكنية فيها متاتف فيها متروبوليتان. It's a high speed network that connects local area network. In a metropolitan area such as a net city or town, and handles the bulk of communication activity across that region. Okay. It usually includes more than one LAN, but it is smaller than a one. So it's in the middle between LAN and one. And it is usually uh, managed by a consortium of users or by a single network provider. Like what? Give me an example of network service provider. Do what? So you know, yeah, exactly. This is now the wide area network. Okay, it's more expensive. It's slower, by the way. It's a network that covers large geographical areas, such as country, the world, using communication channels. Uh, such as telephone lines, cables, radio waves. It can be a large, one large network or can be consisted of two or more LANs connected together. The internet is the world's largest one. Okay. So here we have a one, you see we have LANs connected to each other from one city to another city, San Francisco to Philadelphia router. See on top. You see here, two different cities, they are connected with a one. Okay. Now here they are talking about very important thing in case when we are doing the labs. You have to be very aware about the safety and the health and safety procedures. The emergency alert system in the college or in the lab. Where are the portable fire extinguishers? The emergency power off switch. Okay, and you need to know, does the security system allow access during a failure? We call this fail open. Or it will deny access through the failure. Fail close. Yani the SAR failure is secure. في سيستم لا إذا صار فيلير بصير أوبن وبسموه فيل أوبن. Okay. You understand the difference? يعني في مباني if there is emergency it will open. We call this fail open. 
في ما في في premises if there is emergency it will close. We call it fail close. Okay. Also, safety data sheet or SDS should be there in the lab to explain how to handle substances such as chemicals, some materials, how they can be handled. Okay. Also, we need to know how to, what are the first aid measures, exits, firefighting measures, okay, accidental release measures. You see here, you can see some of this information. <coughs> can you look there at the entrance? Can you see there on the left? Here, like that one, first aid. Can I feel what? Up? First aid. And that exit map. These are all for safety. Also, electrical tool safety is generally regulated by OSHA. Okay. Leah, occupational health or occupational safety and health administration. These are standards for health and safety in the labs or at work. A guideline using power tools like personal protective equipment. Sometimes it's a lab coat or maybe safety shoes. Keep the old tools in good condition and use the right tool for the specific task. And also watch, watch out for trip hazards and be careful if there are cables on the floor, okay, some devices. Also make sure that before touching a component, ground yourself by wearing an ESD strap around your wrist. Yes, these traps, you can find it in the lab upstairs, inshallah, and Shinju will give you some instructions about this. Okay. Always shut down and unplug a computer before working inside it. And please here in this class, we are not going to open any computer. Okay. We are not going to open. But Shinju will be explaining to you theory. So please don't go to the lab and start opening computers. We are not doing this in this course. Okay? Yes. But Shinju will show you some of these devices. Before we used to have a practical exam to assemble, but now it's different. We give you now practical uh, packet trace. Yeah. Okay? So we will stop here. And now I'll...